What's up guys, it's X2Rabby2X here, and I'm going to start with another self-promotion, yet, um, it's kind of a rant, also, and something good, I guess. So, uh, today, YouTube rolled out the new, uh, channels. Now, if you haven't gotten this yet, make sure to go to your own channel. There's going to be a bar at the top that says, click here to get your own channel. And, you can revert this, it's not going to be forever. Well, not yet. But, uh, yeah, check out these new channels. I, I, I guess they look kind of more sleek. I like the look. But my rant is that I did make, I did spend a few hours on my background yesterday, and it had this nice grass border, and now it's just poop because they made these things bigger, and, yeah, whatever. And then right here just looks terrible, and I don't know. Like, I like the new sleek look, though. Everybody's hating it, and I'm, I'm I don't know. I'm, uh, I don't really care that much about it. So, um, alright, let's get into the tutorial. Today's tutorial will be on making custom textures for your blocks and items. And I don't think I explained this enough, so I will today. Alright, so first of all, what you want is, if you don't have Photoshop, which I, I do have, but I'm going to show it on this software, you want to go, go to GIMP.org. GIMP.org. I'll put that link in the description. And you're gonna to want to download that because it's it's basically a free version of something like Photoshop. It's not Photoshop, but it's something like Photoshop, and it works. So uh, let me. Ooh, okay, let's exit out of that. This is basically what it looks like. Okay, it sort of has a Photoshop look to it, but uh, you know, it's it's just not the same. So, um, to, we're going to need to create uh, some new textures. Now, let's go to, if you go to your MCP folder or your Minecraft folder, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's not what I want to do. Yeah, if you go to your .minecraft folder, MCP, doesn't matter. Go to your jars and uh, bin and you'll see your Minecraft.jar. just want to open up with uh, WinRAR or 7-Zip. Now, uh, depending on if we want to make a new block or a new item, um, we're going to use different um, different pictures. So if you go straight into Minecraft.jar and scroll all the way down, or I don't know, you might have it ordered a different way, but you want to find terrain.png. If we open this up, uh, no, I didn't want it to open in Photoshop, no. Okay, I guess um, we'll open it in Photoshop. Um, basically what I wanted to show you guys is, let me change, uh, change the size of this. Okay, so it's about one. No. Okay, what I wanted to show you guys is that each, each little, uh, block is 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 by 16. And this is what we want to make our block as because it only takes 16 by 16. So, um, I mean, that's pretty much the blocks. I don't know what else to tell you about the blocks. Now, uh, to get the items, let's go back to our Minecraft.jar. You're going to want to go on to one of these folders and go to GUI, Graphical User Interface. And then you're going to want to go down to items.png. And I guess I'll I'll just open this up in uh in Photoshop also. Now these things are the same exact thing, but because items are I mean they're items, they don't have any background to them. They they you kinda have to uh I don't know count from the corners. I mean there's there's lines in between, but you have to count. But if you trust me that it's sixteen by sixteen and you can go to these files if you want and uh you can Go ahead and copy one of these items if you want to change your texture or like I mean this is great for using texture packs. You can just change all of these and whatever. You can use the old textures, put some new colors on them, whatever. So yeah. Now that we know where both the items and uh blocks are, you can look at them for reference. And we know that each block and item is sixteen by sixteen. Let's make something. Let me exit out of this. Exit out of this. So now that we're in GIMP, you're going to want to go to New, 
width in pixels. Now you're going to want to make it 16 by 16. Okay, and you're going to have it really small. And uh, let me actually go. Where's the select tool? I've been using a uh, Photoshop, so I don't. All right, so you're going to want to press down Control and just scroll up, and it'll give you this thing right here, whatever this is. Okay, now let's go to our windows real quick and bring out recently closed docs layers. I want my layer. Ah, oh, jeez. All right. And you're going to want to create a new layer. It's also 16 by 16 and just delete the background. Delete layer. So now that we have a clean uh, 16 by 16 pixels of... Uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Uh, now you have 16 by 16 pixels of uh, beauty, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. But we have a fresh, uh, fresh layer. Now let's go find our brush. And uh, where's the size of the brush? On the scale, you're going to want to go all the way down to 1. And you, if you can see this, I don't know if you can see this, but basically the brush is, is about 1 16th of this. And this is because... When you're on the smallest scale for a brush, that's one pixel. That's what one pixel is. And then if we go and choose our color, so let's go red. Uh, opacity is at 100. What? Doesn't look like it's 100. So let's, I don't know, let's make our, let's make our block. I'm just going to, okay, this is not working for me. I'm just going to go to pencil. Okay, yeah, pencil's better. Brush is uh is not full. So you're just gonna want to. I mean, this is this could be random. For items, you want to leave this uh, this checkered background. You want to leave that in because that's what creates that white space. I mean, that like clear space behind it. So you, you it doesn't look like you're holding blocks. But um, I don't I don't really know what to do. I'm horrible at designing textures and whatnot. So let's just go with this. And this is basically how you make the the textures for the blocks. It's it's this easy. I mean it's, there's not much to it. Let's uh No. And if you're using Photoshop, it's it's basically the same thing, but Photoshop it's a lot easier to work with. So you should be able to, you should be like, you should know how to make a 16 by 16 file. It's, it's basically the same exact thing as on here. Let's go, let's go blue. Do, 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 do. All right, so we have this block. Now what you want to do is go to file, save as, and uh, let's go. Actually, I'm gonna go not to C, to my desktop. MCP. I'll just save it right here. I don't really care right now. Let's save this as custom block two. Save as. Nope. What did I just save it as? I just saved it as a. Okay. <laughs> custom block two, but it made a GIMP image. Like a uh, Photoshop has PSD. GIMP has uh, that X whatever. So XCF. That's GIMP's whatever. That's GIMP's. Uh, I don't know, type, I guess. What you're going to do is when you save it, type your name in right here and go bottom, select file type, and you're going to want a PNG. PNG, save, uh, highest quality, sure. And there you go. Now we're going to have it, and let's actually cancel out of here. Uh, let's open up our MCP. And you know what? I'm. Hmm, let's let's actually test this thing. So I'm just gonna open up Eclipse also. I'm gonna close GIMP. And so this is called Custom Block 2. So let's go to our uh, let's go source uh, Blockium Block. Where's Blockium Block? Block Blockium. Okay, it's in mod. All right, never mind. It's in the other class. Mod blockium. So instead of terrain not PNG, it's gonna look towards custom block two. That PNG. Let's go ahead and save that. 
Now before we do anything we have to uh I'm gonna copy nope copy and you're actually gonna wanna drop it in Minecraft right here. If you go to bin Minecraft, that's where it's gonna be. Now I can delete this one. So uh let's recompile real quick just to see if it works. Did I save this? Alright, I saved this. I can also close its Photoshop. You know, I need to make a new background. No, I don't want to save it. Nope. Yeah, I need to make a new background for my YouTube channel because it's kind of messed up right now. So we recompile. Let's start the client. And this works the same for items. I mean, you just create. Even though the items are in a different folder in Minecraft, uh, okay. Yeah, even though the um, items are in a different folder in Minecraft.jar, you paste the items right in to the. <laughs> this is fun. Yeah, you paste the um, items and blocks PNGs in the same exact file. And here we go. Here's a block. I think this looks cooler than my uh, than my older block. I might just keep this. And uh, here you go. Here's your little blocks. I mean, it, it works. And that's I mean that's how easy it is to make new textures. And you can even make your own texture packs. Uh, for that, you'll need to um, pretty much copy the whole terrain.png and copy the whole items.png and just replace all the all the sections that they have with your own textures. I love this crossbow. All right, well, I mean, I think that was it. I'm sorry this is sh such like a short and uh, maybe pointless video for some, but it's useful to others. And, uh, yeah, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Um, subscribe for more videos. And make sure to check out my channel because I'll probably be working on that for a long time. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. See you.